Hey everyone, this is Argon Matrix. Welcome back to episode um, 25 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we got extremely lucky or skilled at the Bomb Tube Bowling Alley, and we got here at nighttime, which is not good. Okay, so we're going to play the Sun Song so we can make it daytime, just to make things a bit easier on our eyes. Anyway, so we have quite a bit of. We have a whole 11 minutes to do this mass side quest. Let's see if we can get that done. What do you say? Okay, so I'm gonna try and zip through this as fast as possible, so I might not talk about a lot of side stuff, but I probably will, because I just get distracted like that. I'm bad for that. So we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna take the Keaton mask into the Lost Woods here. And you're probably wondering, why aren't you just taking it right to the guard? What the hell's wrong with you? Well, there's actually something you can do with this Keaton mask in the Lost Woods. And that would be taking it over this way, past the Goron City entrance. Past that watery alcove, whatever you want to call it. And which way do I turn here? I'm pretty sure it's this way. Yes, it is. So we're going to take it over here. And we're going to actually go over here. You see those butterflies over there? You just want to run right towards them. And, well, you're supposed to fall in a hole, but there's the hole. Okay, so this, if you read the sign, here is the forest stage. We are waiting to see your beautiful face win fabulous prizes. So if you just stand right here and put on the mask, then... Oh my! Oh my god. What's a bu what Oh! Cool. Free rupees. Yeah, that's basically what this place is for. There are a few other things that you can get here too. Like, there's some upgrades, I think. Maybe just one, I'm not sure. But if you take all the different masks that you can get to that to that place, then you get different reactions out of them. Sometimes they'll give you rupees, sometimes they'll give you nothing, sometimes they will do other stuff, I'm not sure. Uh, oh yeah, give you upgrades, I mean. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we're actually going to take the mask to the garden Kakariko. And the shortest way to Kakariko is probably through Goron City here. So let's just do that. Go down here. And by the way, um, this is just something randomly that I thought of and I found out in my practice file. But do you remember how, like, that one heart piece that we got from having Cape Horror Gabor fly us down from the top of Death Mountain and land us on top of Impa's house? And we, like, dropped down and landed on that platform and walked in and there was a cow and a heart piece there. Remember that one? Yeah, I know that's a really, that's really obscure right now because we haven't, that was a long time ago. And, uh, yeah, I figured out on my practice file that there actually is another way to get that one. And basically involves taking a cuckoo up to the, up on, up to, like, the top of that half-built building in Kakariko. And if you're, if you get it just right, you can fly right to the heart piece there, or right to the platform where you can access the heart piece from. So, anyways, uh, yeah, I thought you just might like to know that in case you don't want to... In case you just want to be original, if you're making, if you're planning to make an LP of this someday, then you can try try and show off that. I'm not going to show it off, obviously, because I've already gotten that heart piece. Oh, don't pass the guard. That's the whole reason we're here. Okay, so talk to this guy, and he's like, Wahaha! -ha -ha -ha. Do you think you're in disguise, Mr. Hero? Oh? Is that the key something ma character mask? I hear he's very popular recent recently. He's my boy's favorite. And that key something mask, if you don't mind, will you sell it to me? Sure. I got my fill out of it, so I hope you get yours. My boy will be very happy with this mask. You really are Mr. Hero. Wah ha ha ha. Okay. You sold the 10 rupee ash for 15 rupees. We got 5 rupees in profit. Let's go back to the mask shop and pay back the price of 10 rupees. And what the stupid thing about this is that that guy's just going to wear the mask for the rest of the game. He's not going to give it to his son. He's like, hmm, I kind of like this mask. Maybe I'll keep it for myself. Maybe when he goes home, it'll be like, his son will be like, Daddy, you're something you bought me this and you bought me a mask because that's so nice of you can i have it now it's like no no i'm sorry you can't it's uh it's special for my work it's been ordered that i wear this mask at all times by the hyrule royal family so i have to i'm sorry myself my boy anyways uh we're not even too far into the video here we're like what five minutes into the video i'm not sure yeah, probably about five minutes. So we still have like a good six minutes left to go here. 
but we're probably not going to get the entire mask side quest done in that small amount of time. So the next thing we want to do is, like I said, go back to the mask shop and pay back 10 rupees so that we can get the next mask. So we're going to do that right now. Roll this way, pass those people who are dancing day in and day out, even Majora's Mask. Uh, by the way, if you haven't read on my channel page, I am going to do Majora's Mask LP eventually. Oh great, you sold it. Please pay back 10, 10 rupees. 10 dollars, yeah. Payment received. Okay. Welcome, which mask can I lend you? You can lend me this skull mask for 20 rupees. And that's it. And who are we going to give this mask to, you ask? Well, it's... I'm not, I'm not going to bother. It's just the skull kid. Yeah, I kind of figures, don't you think? He doesn't really have a face. He has, like, a black visage and two eyes, two red eyes. So I guess he could do with a mask, just to give him some more character. Although why he would want a mask of a with the image of a skull, I don't know. So anyways, we're going to go back to the Lost Woods yet again, and first we'll equip the mask, I guess. Or not equip it, but just set it to a C. And we're going to take it back to the Lost Woods, which, incidentally, we can do two things there with it. One is the forest stage, and uh, the second is the Skull Kid. And in this trade, you're actually going to lose rupees for this mask. He's going to pay you like 10 rupees or something for your 20 rupee mask. And it's going to make such a big deal out of it, as, as far as I remember. God damn it, it's nighttime. In a kitchen just like yours. Always quiet. Or is it? The North American House Hippo is found throughout Canada in the eastern United States. Did I make that reference like 10, 20, not 20, 10 videos ago or something? I'm not sure. Uh, if any of you know what commercial that is, and yes it is commercial, that's a hint, then you are awesome. I don't even know if that's on TV anymore. I really love that commercial. I even believed that as a kid. That was so freaking hilarious. Even with the, like, warning at the end that's like, it's not real. Don't believe it. Don't believe everything you see on TV. Paid for by the National Government of Canada. Something. Okay, let's do the same procedure here. Make it daytime. Yeah. We'll probably have just enough time to get this mask traded and maybe get back to Castletown if we're lucky in this video. And then in the next video, we're going to keep on going with our side questy stuff, probably finish the mask quest, and then move on to the next thing in the, vid in the thing. So yeah, we're getting a bunch of side quest stuff out of the way now, so that means that there's going to be that we're gonna have a lot of story progression in the next like maybe 20 videos or after that probably I won't be stopping a lot for that a lot like a lot to do side questy stuff except there's gonna be quite a few skull shows that we can get after we get the item in the third dungeon spoilers yeah so anyways we're gonna head back to the forest stage obviously and we're going to meet up with those Dekus again, who are going to give us something nice, hopefully. Hopefully they won't hate our mask with their faces and stuff. Okay, so fall down the hole here. And walk up to the front of the stage and put on the mask. And let's see what their reaction is. They're like, hmm, what on earth could we give him for this? Well, oh my god, what the hell? Oh my, what the frick? What are you doing? Um... Um, all of the young Deku Scrubs br brothers agree. You look exactly like our sacred forest totem. As an offering from us, please accept these Deku sticks. We will all also enhance your carrying skills. Abracadabra! Alakazam! Oh my god, that is so freaking awesome. I never knew, but I've never done that before in my life. I've never done this fourth stage at all in my life. That is the most... That could become one of my most favorite scenes. One of my most favorite non-epic scenes in this game. Like, seriously, I had no idea about that. That was just freaking hilarious. Oh my god. I love that. Can't wait to see what the reaction to the next mask is. Probably won't be as violent. I was kind of scared there for a minute. I thought they were going to like start attacking me or something. Like, oh my god, get away! Wow. That is just... Hilarious. Oh my god, don't lag now that we just... We got here right to the Skull Kid, and then it starts lagging. Okay, stop it. Stop it. I'm not going to do anything until... There you go. 
So we stand up here, we put on the mask, and we talk to him. Hee <laughs> hee, under that mask, aren't you that Kokiri kid? And he comes right up to our face. Quite an unusual mask you have there. Hee <laughs> hee, I like it. I'm, it may make me look a bit tougher. Hey, why don't you give it to me? Okay. Yowza, I'm gonna wear this all the time. He just gave you 10 rupees for that 20 rupee mask. You lost money on that deal. Go back to the mask shop and pay back 20 rupees for the mask. It's if the difference will have to come out of your own pocket. Yeah, see, it did make a pretty big deal out of it. But I don't have any time to mock that in this episode. So, in, uh, in the next episode, we're going to finish this mask side quest. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.